The Lady of the Mountain is the female incarnation of Iceland. While she symbolized what Iceland is considered to be genuine and purely Icelandic, in her purity she reflected a deep-seated, but unattainable, wish of Icelanders to be a totally independent nation. Fjallkonen is thus not only a national symbol, she also represents the national vision, the nation's ultimate dream. History in Iceland the personification of a nation as a woman was widespread in 18th and 19th century Europe. The earliest image of Iceland personified as a woman seems to appear first in association with the poem of John Evith Jardartha Lovi Sudrotninga, 1752, by Agatho Larsson. But this image does not survive. From that moment onwards she became a well-known symbol in Icelandic poetry. The oldest surviving image of the Lady of the Mountains was published in the last volume of an English translation of Icelandic folk tales by Erik Ur Magnusson and G. E. J. Powell, Icelandic Legends, collected by John R. Nassen. It is the work of the German painter Johann Baptist Zwecker, who drew it to specifications provided by Erik Ur. Erik Ur described the picture in a letter to John Sigurdsson thus. Conamindina at Takna Island, THVI Hefer Hunisko Ronu Ehav the Semel Dargors IUPPR, Boxel Hennera Hanin, Islands Ein Kennelagesti Fugel, Others Forni Van Og Skaldana F. Tealer Aesgoth, Freta Fugel Mikhil Og Marku Nugu, Yifiarsion Im Flog Rama, NYFIR Brim Sevi Tima Og Sogu Berist Runake Fly Atland Eta UPPI Fan Conani, Og Hefer Hunthega Nathai Nu Thera, Theta Atter Svo Semath Vera Symbol in Bokmenta Lands and Zog Sogalons and Zokar, Yfir Ernot Og Stern Jor Him and Ogman and Uppi, A Back Vithiru Fuel, Tung Roth and Areg Dunam. The picture of the woman is to represent Iceland, because she has a crown of ice on her head, from which fires erupt. On her shoulder is the raven, Iceland's most characteristic bird, Othan's ancient friend and the favourite of poets. A great and knowledgeable news-carrying bird, over the seas flatters a seagull, but across the surf of time and history a born rude staves to the land and up into the embrace of the woman, and she has picked one of them up. This is intended as a symbol of our literary land and our historical land. It is night with a starry sky and the moon up. Behind the mountains, moonlight on the ridges. Also very popular is the image designed by Benedict Svenjanus and Grondal on a memorial card of the national holiday in 1874. Since the establishment of the Icelandic Republic in 1944 it has been traditional for a woman in traditional dress to read the poem on the national holiday. The idea of the Fjallkonen as motherland was a counterweight to the idea of the Danish king as father in 19th century Iceland under Danish rule, and after independence in 1944 became one of the images through which feminism and the idea of powerful women such as Iceland's first female president Vigdis Finnbogadottir, were made to seem a natural part of Icelandic culture. History in Canada The image of the Fjallkonen has also been prominent among Vesta Islendingar in Canada. A woman dressed as the Lady of the Mountain first appeared at the Iceland Days in Winnipeg, Canada in 1924. Here too, the Fjallkona has been deployed to promote feminism.